When it comes to high blood pressure, also called hypertension, it is important to take steps to maintain close to or below normal blood pressure, especially with type 2 diabetes. Over 50% of all type 2 diabetics have high blood pressure. The reason for high blood pressure with diabetes is because high blood sugar levels damage the blood vessels and cause cholesterol abnormalities. It is common for people with type 2 diabetes to have high triglycerides, low HDL, and high LDL. Type 2 diabetes causes high blood pressure because high insulin levels stimulate the nervous system which then speeds up the heart and makes your blood vessels narrower, causing blood pressure to increase. Your arteries carry blood from your heart and it is the force of your blood pushing against your artery walls, hence the name blood pressure. The problem is when your blood is the pushing against your artery walls with too much force. Just think of the force of a wild water rapid versus the force of water in a calm lake. The more force, the more damage. Over time, the damage caused from this force on your artery walls damages your arteries, which causes them to get more narrow. The end result of this is heart attack or a stroke. Your blood pressure is the highest when it pumps blood into your arteries. This is the systolic pressure, the top number in your blood pressure. When your heart is resting, which is in between beats, you have a lower pressure. This is your diastolic number, the bottom number in your blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80. Prehypertension is 120 to 139 over 80 to 89. And hypertension is 140 and up over 90 and higher. More common causes of high blood pressure are high blood sugar, a family history of high blood pressure, lack of exercise, being overweight, an unhealthy diet, high salt intake, and drinking too much alcohol. As for symptoms of high blood pressure, for the most part, high blood pressure doesn't have any symptoms. So you can be walking around with very high blood pressure and not even know it. If you want to improve your blood pressure, it is usually as simple as improving the things that cause it in the first place. Such as diabetes, lowering high blood sugar, eating foods lower in sodium, limiting alcohol, quitting smoking, exercising and losing weight. Another good way to improve your blood pressure is to increase your potassium intake. Increasing your potassium helps to balance the levels of sodium in the body. You can do this by adding foods high in potassium. One of my favorite high potassium foods is spinach. Prior to using any of this material, please consult with your doctor. For more information on controlling type 2 diabetes naturally, visit my website, diabetesdietcures.net, now.